Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new World Defenders video. It's actually been a minute since I made a World Defenders video. I actually just dropped a VR Burgers video on Roblox. If you guys like VR Burgers or just kind of want to check the video out, I'll leave a link down in the description. But in today's video, I would be showing you guys tips and tricks of how you can have a lot of gems, a lot of coins, a lot of really good towers so that you can be a really good player here in World Defenders. And I have seen there's a few changes. Um, I've been it's been a minute, so I haven't been able to make this video. You guys have requested it, so I've been wanting to make this video. But they've had the marketplace down for a while, and part of the tips and tricks I want to show you guys is using this marketplace. So, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this, today's video. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. So guys, as you can tell, Dragon's Islands are here. We can obviously see that we have a baby dragon, gladiator dragon. Ooh, this chain dragon looks so dope. What is this? This guy looks like a beast. Dragon Islands. Okay, so this is Dragon Islands event. So, okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So guys, to start off, uh, we won't be doing the Dragon's Islands event. We won't be like showcasing any towers today. If you guys do want to see a video on that let me know down in the comments or just leave a like and i'll make some videos on this new dragon island event one of the things that we're going to be talking about is marketplace so once you come in marketplace you obviously see you see some stands all these stands like for example there's a galaxia dragon which is a really good tower for 120,000 gems you also come along and you see some for like 8,500. you could even find some for 2,000 maybe even offers like 600 oh there's the gladiator dragon the one i don't know about but costs a thousand gems look at that so i could already go ahead and buy that tower the reason i wanted to show you guys the marketplace is because this is one of the ways where you can grind gems you can grind coins and get a whole bunch so for before i used to have like a thousand like two thousand but when the marketplace came out look at my gems now i have thirty one thousand gems as you can see, that is a lot of gems, guys. And my coins, not so much because I've been spending them. But you guys can get gems and coins from here. Like, easy. If I were to buy this person's coins tower, they would get like a thousand something instantly. Just like that. And, for example, let me find an open stand. And let me go see where I can put. So, for example, boom. So, this is my stand. I have a Coral Hydra, a few Singers, and as well as a Dark Cloth for Robux. So, this is a really good way to also get some robux guys get some good deals and really just get a bunch of gems and coins so what else is marketplace good for well marketplace is also good for getting your towers that you want towers like for example this gladiator dragon i don't have um or getting that galaxia dragon that costs a lot but you will have an op tower so in order to become really good you can sell a bunch of your um not so good towers to get maybe uh, a Mr. Frost, you could get a Ice Queen, an Ice, an Ice King, a Splatoon, just get a Terra Titan, like just different AOE towers, DPS towers, and overall some slowing down towers as well. And that way you can start forming your team and it can just get really, really good. So off to the next thing that we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about why are DPS towers and AOE towers so good. Is there other ways to earn gems and coins than the marketplace? Of course, the most common way that was used before the marketplace was just playing maps just like this. I mean, you're in the hero world and this map um, can give you a few gems and a few coins and continuing doing maps can give you more gems and more coins. And in doing so, you can also see the importance of what towers you will need in certain maps. Also, I want to talk about the importance of AOE towers of dps towers and of slowing down towers so in this map i'm gonna show you guys about the aoe and dps so let me go ahead and click normal and once you click normal you start off with about six thousand five hundred dollars so they're going to be coming this way and i'm going to put out one of my strongest towers to start off with and i'm just going to place him right here he's a dps tower so as you can see there's my dps tower so alone he can do pretty well but look how many things are coming out at a time I can't beat it alone even if I were to upgrade it it has eternal glory a really high rank look at this just by doing this I'm about to lose so now we're gonna see 
what the difference is if we put an AOE tower. So let me go ahead and put this AOE tower there. This is called Ice Rook. He's a really good AOE tower to start off with. So look at this. Boom. Boom. So let, we can put two of these guys and look at that. Just like that, we're going to upgrade him and he's already maxed out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. We just cleared out this whole entire place. So if I were to put my Hydra there, that's my DPS tower, but these are AOE. Look at its ring. Everything inside of this ring gets hit with the same amount of damage. So that is why AOE towers are so important because maps like these, the DPS towers are only going to do so much. The DPS towers are also important though because when it comes to the boss, when it comes to really high HP towers, the thing that you need more is DPS because look at this low DPS. As you can see, it's just 3,300. But this right here is already doing 68,000. So as you can see, it is very important to have DPS towers and AOE towers. But of course, there could have been a way to do this without an AOE tower. You could have used a slowing down tower like Medusa. Or the um, there's another tower that's like a spider that you could use to slow it down with webs and things. And so that is why it is so important to be able to use DPS towers and AOE towers. Because what good is having the best towers if you don't have a strategy of how to beat every map? Now, the next few maps could not even need an AoE tower. You could replace this with a really strong DPS tower or even a booster or a money tower. So it's important to know your maps, know what you need. And so I think that's a very important thing. But this is just the hero world. And look at that. The DPS tower, boom. Doing 185,000 with Eternal Glory, my Hydra, and of course you need even more DPS towers. You don't just need one. And having that can help you to be able to beat certain maps. So another way to earn gems and coins, and yes guys, there's even another way to earn gems and coins, is doing the infinite mode. So as you can see on the bottom right, there it says infinite. So right now we're in the dino world. We click infinite, and this is for every normal world. Any event worlds, it won't have, it won't have infinite. But normal worlds will have infinite. So I will be doing Robo Camp. And as you notice, they have levels. This level actually helps them. If they're in the top 10, it helps them to have a reward at the end of each and every month. So I'm going to be doing Robo Camp, guys. And if we click solo right there, you can see a lot of levels on the side. Those are actually waves. Five, wave 500, wave 218. And those people are going to get rewarded actually at the end of the month with a special tower. Each and every month, there's a new tower. And as well as you can get rewarded if you reach wave 100, as you see right there, guys, wave 100, you can get a thousand gems. And I'm going to be showing you guys the importance of the infinite tower as well as the slowing down towers. So I'm going to go ahead and place here my golden hydra, guys. And there we go. So my golden hydra, there we go, is going to take care of them. I am going to be using Medusa today for my slowing down tower. Now, do you need Medusa for this map? You probably don't. You probably don't. But Medusa does help if you're doing like nightmare mode or any really fast and moving mode where there's just a lot coming out. Um, it kind of really just helps with a lot of those big HP things coming out of this portal, guys. Like the dinosaurs, if they had like, what, like a million health or something, this is going to help you because this is going to slow down all the towers that have a lot of health, normal towers that don't even have that much health. Medusa is your tower as well as there's that spider tower I was talking about that name of that tower is called web widow actually and this Medusa turns the towers into stone if it has enough time if, if golden hydra would let it it will turn these towers into stone golden hydra let it do its thing it won't let it do its thing but anyways uh, hopefully there's a lot that comes out so I can show you guys and you can put up to three Medusas which is actually really really cool oh for a slight moment, I think you could have seen it right there. Uh, is it going to turn into stone? I want I want to let you guys see it. But the reason AOE towers, DPS towers, and slowing down towers are so important on your team is because they will help you in the long run with different maps. Not every map is the same. They like to change the map every once in a while, guys. So that just helps balance out the game more and helps it to be even harder for other players. But anyways... Um, as you can see, this Golden Hydra does a lot more than normal. It has a rank, Eternal Glory. I'm actually be talking about that a little bit too. Ranks are so important on towers. 
The reason they're so important is because, for example, Eternal Glory is the best rank you can get on a one place tower. Good thing Golden Hydra was a one place. Uh, if you have a five placement tower, it will turn that five placement tower into a one placement and then just multiply the damage by a little bit. As well as this Eternal Glory helps my Hydra at the end to have 180 something thousand damage DPS guys yes you know what it normally has uh, without eternal glory at the end 35k that's the big difference especially if you're fighting against a lot of really HP towers this uh, eternal glory is gonna help you guys but now I didn't get eternal glory on these and this is why because having three is actually really good on this tower I don't want eternal glory on it and as well as Medusa lightning speed is the best because it's even faster having lightning speed and just um, overall the best also force of nature is a really good one if you have want a lot of range I think that really helps it out so let me go ahead and upgrade that and boom just like that it's already going up to 4,000 and this is just my starter tower guys that's how crazy it is so if you guys don't have a gold hydra definitely get yourself a gold hydra with eternal glory it's just one of the best starter towers that you can have but like I said guys this is also a really good way to grind gems if you get to wave 100, you get a thousand gems. If you go past that wave, you can get as high level as you possibly can, and maybe even have a chance of getting that reward tower every month, which is super, super cool, guys. And it's a really fun way. But let me see if I can get you guys to see uh, when it goes into stone. If oh, how about I just sell my my hydra? Look at this. So I will sell my hydra and stone, stone. Let's see if it's, yeah, there we go, guys. It turned it to stone. But why is DPS tower so important? Because without it, we couldn't take them out. This only stones them. It doesn't do any damage. That's why each and every tower does something to help the other. It's why it's so important, guys, to be able to do that. And just to be able to do infinite modes, it's just really, really fun as well. All right, so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is what I'm actually wearing. Right here, this is called a champion. So you may think, oh, cool skin. Well, this is actually not my normal skin. If I were to take this off, if I go to champions and actually take off the pirate skin that I'm actually wearing, this would be my normal skin. As you can see, this is my normal skin uh, of my normal Roblox skin. It's pretty cool, right? Uh, maybe not as cool as the champion. What the champion does is why I wanted to talk about it is that, for example, the champion, this pirate one, you can't get this champion. But I will be talking about champions you can get. This champion was actually from the plunder event, which was a pirate themed event. It has, uh, it can give you at level 75 up to 10% on all booster on like your towers, which is super good because it boosts up the damage. And you can even get really cool skins at level 100. Its partner tower is the Kraken, which I actually have in my inventory. And it boosts that tower alone by 10%, which is super, super good. And you can get a bunch of different champions as you can see here. And this hero champion, actually, that I just noticed up there, it's actually from this new superhero world that they've added. If we jump in here, you can, if you guys don't have a champion and want a champion, the ones that are out right now are from the superhero event. Right here, you can get Captain Cosmic for a thousand coins, right here, and then you can get a Shadow Sentinel, which is just a different skin. These are all the same, but it, it, it varies so you can have different skins of it. Look at that. And this is level 100 skin. So that right there will turn into level 100 and have and look like red. So this is why it doesn't, you can't buy it. But this is a skin that you guys can get. I don't have actually enough. I'm so poor. I'm so poor. But uh, if I were to get a few more coins, I can definitely buy this champion skin and then have even another one. But that pirate skin is probably one of my favorites. That's why I like to keep it around. And it also boosts all your towers, which is super good in DPS. One more thing that I want to mention before we wrap up today's video is this thing right behind this uh, this uh, cool crate that they have. It is the tower ranks. So here, if you have Spartan, which is silver or gold, the way you get this is by beating maps just like World 4, just different maps. Every map that you beat, you have a chance of getting like 3, 2, or 1 of these. And then now they're doing like 1 to, one to I think, 4 maybe, Spartan gold that you can get from beating just each and every map and just getting um, these coins so the reason these coins are out is because if we go to this guy we talk to him we want to put a tower here so if i want to upgrade for example my mecha hydra he has swift strike so we go to rank chances 
all you can read all these guys. Like, see, Eternal Glory is the hardest one to get. We got Golden Might, Force of Nature, and all of these are really good ranks that you guys can get. So if I have I have some gold actually, so let me go ahead. It only costs one gold, but it costs more silver. See, it costs five to try to get one level. But gold is so good because it only takes a one one each. Look at that. Just like that, I got Warlord. Warlord is actually pretty good. It's a one percent to get, and it boosts damage by twenty five percent and does fifty percent extra damage against bosses. What a beast uh, my Mecha Hydra is going to be now. Which is super, super good when you want to rank up your towers. So guys, to wrap up today's video, we talked about a few things that you guys can become one of the best players in the game, actually. I'm not the best player in the game, but a lot of people that play with me are like, Oh, why are you so good at this game? Show us a video where you can show us that you're really good. And I'm like, okay, let me, let me drop this video. So I did this video for you guys. I uh, hope you guys it I hope this video really helped you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. To recap on today's video, we talked about a few tips and tricks on you guys can be one of the best players that you can be, guys. I know you guys always wanted this video. A few guys that play with me are like, "Why are you so good at this game? How do you have so much money? How did you get all these towers?" This video is for you guys for all those answers. Just to recap, we talked about how the marketplace can give us a bunch of gems and coins as well as gives us the towers that are limited time that we've never been able to get and just really OP towers. We also talked about how AOE towers, DPS towers, and slowing towers are so important to each and every map because each and every map is always different and it also helps to balance out the team. As well as we talked about how infinite milk can give you up to a thousand gems and also give you some infinite rewards just like this one that was out in March. Now in April, they haven't put a new one, but they will put it out, I'm sure, shortly. And as well as these new towers, we need to find out what they do. Are they strong enough to be in our team? These, This is a cute dragon. Look at this. Oh, I just love this. Oh, it blinks. Oh, that's so cool. This is it for today's video, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I hope you did enjoy today's video. Share it with your friends, your family, anyone that plays along with you that wants to be one of the best players they can be, needs some tips and tricks. Share this video with them. It was, really supports me, and I'm pretty sure will help them a lot as well, guys. So I will be dropping some more videos soon, maybe on War Defenders, Adopt Me, and just some other Roblox and Minecraft games. If you guys want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Continue the journey with me along to our road to 1,000 subscribers, guys. We're trying to get there by the end of the year. So if you guys want to hit the subscribe button and help me out, it will mean a lot. But guys, this is it for today's video. Have a great rest of y'all's day, and I'm out. Bye, guys.